let's now hop over to our actual IDE in order to explore what we have over there. What you see here on the bottom, which I now expanded to full width, is our in-editor IDE. So let's take a look at it and see what it includes. First of all, you can see here that we have one tab open. That is the page code for the home page. And you can identify which page it's related to with the word here that says home. And if we were to create another page, for example, on our site, so let me go over here to pages and create a new page. And we'll just leave it with the name new page. You can see here that when I navigate to the new page, it opens up the page code for that page. And we can only have one file of page code open at the time. We can have multiple backend files open at a time, but only one page code file. Here on the right, we have several panels which assist us with writing code for our site. Uh, we can select elements here inside of the editor. And whenever we select an element, you can see that we have this properties and events panel that opens up. We have a link here to the specific API reference for that element. So if I go ahead and I click here, it will open up the Velo documentation that's specifically related to the element that I selected. Under that, we have the element's unique ID. Wix will assign generic IDs whenever you add a new element to your canvas. But whenever we are writing code, our best practice will be to change the ID to something that is easily identifiable and can be associated with the elements that when we're looking for it in our code, we won't have to look for section four, five, one, two, three, four. And instead we can look for home section, top section, middle section, something that is a lot more understandable to human beings. Uh, obviously we're not going to do this for every single element, only elements that we are actually going to be interacting with, with our Velo code. Under that, we have our uh, default values for hidden and collapsed. So if this element starts off as either hidden or collapsed, then we would click one of these 